Hi, it's David George Brooke, that gratitude guy. And today I want to talk about how to make a gratitude journal work for you. A lot of people ask me about, you're always pushing the gratitude journal. Tell me how you're writing it, how it works and how the effect is in terms of writing down what you're grateful for and how it impacts you. Here's the journal that I sell, the Brooker's Daily Gratitude Journal. There's a link in the description down below where you can buy it through Amazon. But at the same time, if you find a spiral notebook, any kind of a notebook or pad or anything you want to put your recordings on that you're grateful for, that will work too. The nice thing about this is you can record it, you can go back and refer to it later, see what you were thinking, what you were grateful for, what some of the comments that you made on a certain date when you look back on it. And these last, these last about 90 days, therefore, thereabouts rather. So let's talk about how this works. In the upper left hand corner, there's a little saying that says, if you think about it, it's like a dream. If you talk about it, it inspires you. If you write about it, it empowers you. It's the empowering that is so important because the writing plants the gratefulness, the gratitude, the abundance, all the positives into your brain that much better. So the way this actual journal works is you've got gratitude today, which is up in the upper left hand corner. That's going to be for today. This is going to be for tomorrow. And you start out with the day and the date, the day of the week, the date of the month and so forth. And then next over to the right, you write down your daily number. Now this is a way for you to kind of track your progress, if you will, kind of track your attitude. And in this case, 10 is the best day of your life. One is one of the worst days of your life. And so assign a number and kind of like taking your temperature, if you will, you can do halves, seven and a half, eight and a half, nine, whatever it might be. But this is a way for you to record and kind of track and then see how when you write about grateful things in your life, how it can impact that number. Next, there's two lines that say current events, special occasions. This is simply so you don't need a diary. You don't have to have multiple books to keep track of it. You can write what's going on in your life right here and so forth. Maybe it's a special event, maybe it's somebody's birthday, maybe it's a meeting, but whatever it is, that goes right in there in the current events, special occasions, a couple of lines. Then, I am so grateful for, and here's about eight or 10 lines. Now, I happen to write declaratively in sentences. I'm so grateful for my health. I'm so grateful for my two sons, etc. You can write that way or you can write bullet points. I'm grateful for my job. I'm grateful for my wife or my husband, whatever it might be, and put those bullet points down there. But generally, it's a good idea to try to fill those eight or 10 lines because I can't imagine that you can't think of enough things that you're grateful for on that particular day that wouldn't fill those eight or 10 lines. Down in the lower left, couple of lines it says the highlight of my day now if you write in a gratitude journal in the morning I typically recommend the morning because I struggle a little bit more with being up when I first get up versus at the end of the day after a lot of things have happened but you can write in the evening as well but the highlight of your day if you write in the morning is what was the best thing that happened to you yesterday so it would be any kind of a highlight anything that was really positive or that you want to remember that you put down here and one of the tips that i've noticed on this is that you can also if you write in the morning you can reread it at night or if you write at night you can reread it in the morning it's going to take you five or six minutes to write in this gratitude journal it's going to take you 30 to 60 seconds maybe to reread it so that works out and is very effective now, on the right-hand side, something a few people don't know as much about is called gratitude tomorrow. That's the gratitude that you're going to have for things happening in the future that haven't even happened yet. It plants it in your brain. I am so grateful for something as if it's already present in your mind. Your subconscious mind cannot tell the difference as much between what it thinks has happened and what has actually happened. So when you program it, it automatically take your brain in that direction. I talk about many times on this side of the book, talking about, I'm grateful I'm talking to hundreds of people, and then it was 100 people, then it's 1,000 people. I'm grateful I'm speaking to 10,000 people, then I spoke to 10,000 people. And now I've gotten all sorts of hundreds of thousands of views on YouTube and reaching that many people with the gratitude. So it's programming your brain to lean forward and look and, and direct you towards an area where you may not have gone if you hadn't have thought about it ahead of time. So that's what the gratitude today does for you. And I will tell you too that here's mine, my actual journal. You can see that it's been just picking any day that's been written in and fully 
up to speed on all aspects of being grateful. I'll make little notes in the margin. I'll make a note. Sometimes I'll write and I'll put down a number in the bottom after I've written in a gratitude journal to see the impact of how that daily number changes. In most cases, if you put that number down and you write in your gratitude journal, the number is going to go up significantly after you've written down and talked about your blessings and so forth. It's interesting because a lot of people have come up to talks and they've seen one in this. They say, this is my actual journal. And they'll flip through the journal and they'll say, well, is this yours here? And I go, yeah. And they go, wow, you look, it looks like you write in every single day. And I tell them, I said, Were you, did you just listen to the talk? What, what do you think? No, I, I just write in it occasionally. You know, I want you to write in it every day, but I just write in it occasionally. So it's handy. And I see in one of these ones, too, I've got a little note up in the margin, a friend of mine's birthday. So there's other things that you can add to it so you don't have to have that. But it's a very effective tool. Writing it is going to cement it into your brain, as I mentioned. So keep that in mind. And if you need to get one of these, you can order them. I'll put it in the description below. I'll include the link to Amazon where you can order it. And also, you'll see another link, too, to subscribe to my YouTube channel channel you can hit the subscribe button and you'll get several videos every single week so that's how a gratitude journal can help you out that's how it's brought how it's done it can make a huge difference it worked for me it can work for your to you too thanks so much